Okay, it's time for your first challenge of the week. I'm calling it the ice cube challenge. And for this challenge, you're gonna need a ice cube. Um, I'd love you to do this with someone else in your family because it's really fun to see if you can devise a better insulator than that other person. So your challenge is to make your ooh, ice cube last for as long as possible. Now, of course, you could just stick it back in the freezer, but that is out of bounds. A couple other things you can't do, uh, no freezers, no coolers, no insulated cups. Other than that, it is a free reign. Now, I advise you to be like the squirrels and make a plan. Figure out what you think that would be best to hold your ice cube in and keep it cold for as long as possible. Now, keep checking it to see when your ice cube is finally all water. And the person that you're competing against, you can see if maybe you made a better uh, plan than they did or made a better insulator or cooler for your ice cube. Now, I would love to know not only what you made for your ice cube to sit in to keep it an ice cube for as long as possible, but I would also love to know how long your ice cube lasted. Can you get it to last for 20 minutes? or 30 minutes, or even over an hour, go ahead and set a timer when you start doing this challenge and see, let's see maybe even as a whole grade level, what the longest time someone can keep an ice cube. Now remember, no refrigerators, no freezers, no coolers, no insulated mugs. This has to be something that you build. You can take a picture of your plan if you want and then post it with the time of how long it took for your ice cube to finally melt. Good luck. Okay, have fun with this.